Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Illegal Mist, and today I'm gonna show you how to download RSL Helper so that you can do everything automatically. Let's get right into it. To download RSL Helper, we need to make sure we go on Farbstoff's Discord server. You're gonna wanna go into the description below and make sure you click on the link to join Farbstoff's Discord. Once you click on the link for the Discord server, it'll bring you to a page like this, and it'll typically pull up your Discord application already. You can simply click Join Farbstoff's Discord, and then you'll be in. From here, you'll have a couple of options as to which channels you wanna join. If you're an English speaker like me, you'll wanna click on questions and help for RSL Helper. Once you get to the RSL Helper English page, you can go navigate yourself to the top right where the pin messages are, and then there should be a message from June 16th of 2022. This will show you the link to download RSL Helper. We're gonna to wanna to make sure we install RSL Helper, and after the install, find the .exe folder and make sure we run that specific file as admin so that way the app has the proper permissions to run properly. After clicking it, it automatically brings a download page and we can see our download is in this downloads file right here. For simplicity's sake, I just made sure to blow it up so you all can see I have the RSL helper initial file right here. I'm gonna double click on that and make sure my install happened. Typically, I leave it in the C program file slash RSL helper v4, and then I click next. For me, because I've already downloaded RSL helper, even though I uninstalled it, there's some files that already stayed. What I can do is make sure I click yes for this, so that way it installs all of the files that I need, in case any of my old files were corrupted. I'm gonna hit next and then install. Now that my file's done, I just need to click finish. Once I've downloaded and installed RSL Helper, I need to make sure I execute it as admin. To do that, I'm just gonna go into my file explorer and make sure I find the proper place where my RSL Helper download is installed. To run it as admin, we can go straight from that downloads folder that we had and then just click to the left of downloads and click on this PC. We wanna click on our Windows C drive. We want to click on program files, not the program files x86, just the regular one. And then scroll all the way down to where the R is and RSL helper v4 should now be downloaded there. From here, we should have our folder that has RSL helper.exe, RSL helper underscore updater.exe, and a couple other random files. We're going to want to make sure that we right click onto RSL helper.exe and then click run as admin. From here, it'll say update available. Do you want to update the RSL helper? We click yes or ja. And then it'll say RSL helper.exe update found. Do you want to update? We click ja again. After maybe a minute or two, it'll say job done. Do you want to start the RSL helper? We can click ja to start it. And then it'll go in and it'll download all of the folders and files that it needs to make sure that we have the right pictures and stuff on RSL helper. Okay, now that RSL Helper is downloaded, it automatically should pull up RAID and your RSL Helper here. Pull myself back up. And yeah, we have RSL Helper open now. We can see our uh, folder that had RSL Helper.exe has a whole bunch of new pictures in it and skills and some other information, which is great. So that means our RSL Helper is good to go and it is up and running. If you're having some issues with your RSL helper not downloading, it could be a couple different issues. The first one could be that you have a VPN issue or some sort of connection issue. I just recommend going into the Farbsoft Discord server. If you look in the pinned comments of RSL helper v2 English, you should be able to find some stuff that says uh, what you should do in case any issues pop up. So for this one, updater does nothing or gets stuck in a loop. They say set an exception for the whole RSL helper folder and your antivirus. There could be some issues where your antivirus doesn't let RSL helper download or update. Um, and then there's some other issues that could be related to blocking connection and things like that. So just go through, check any of them. Those could be your issue. The most common issue that I've had when downloading or updating RSL helper is uh, a lot of the time I'll click on the updater and it'll say there's an update available but for some reason it won't update my RSL helper and it'll kind of just freeze. Or when I go to actually use RSL helper, it pulls up with a little text box that says something along the lines of like, not, per not permitted or something along those lines. Uh, what I have to do typically is go back into that RSL helper folder. In this folder, I just simply 
literally click on everything and then I can click delete. Once I delete everything, I'll go back into that uh, file that I downloaded earlier and I'll reinstall RSL Helper into my computer. And typically that's like the biggest issue that I have with it. I always forget about it. So I'm going to watch my own video back because it happens quite a bit to me. But if you're running into an issue uh, when you're not able to update it or something like that, make sure you can try delete all of the files. If you uninstall RSL Helper, it won't delete all of these files. So make sure you delete all of these files and then go and reinstall RSL Helper. Definitely the biggest tip I can give you all. Okay, now that we have RSL Helper downloaded and our Play and Play opened up our game and our account, we can see that uh, there's nothing populated on RSL Helper. So to simply fix this issue, all we need to do is go into our battles, click on battles, and we can go into the Doom Tower we can choose any stage, it doesn't matter what stage. And then we can see it populates a little bit of the enemy, but we're still not totally able to go in and see all of our own account information. So if I just click start battle, it'll start a battle up and it will populate all of our information. I can just end the battle and boom. Now when I pull up RSL helper, we can see all of the champions on the account and we can go into each one of these tabs and see all of our specific inventory and things of that nature on this account. So make sure you run a, a Doom Tower if you don't have any energy or if you just want to run a regular dungeon. It doesn't matter where you go as long as you do something within the game that kind of like sends your information to the servers for Plarium and then everything should populate. All right guys, that's everything I have today as far as downloading and installing RSL Helper. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments below, but otherwise, make sure you watch my other videos on how to properly use RSL Helper, as well as many tips and tricks that you might not know about how to get the most out of it. Take care, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.